good morning guys so with my fresh black coffee let's start today's analysis so we'll start from gbp today so the trade you are seeing right now these are trade all of gbp these two were taken yesterday and this was taken day before yesterday and it's a learning in profit of 28 dollar approximately now in loss of 17 dollar but no i am not exiting this and this have my indecision right now should i exit or not so coming to gp aud if i come to our one in this is so you can see in our one there is we can't see any support here and yesterday we had difficult teach to enter with this ranging in our one time frame so i moved a little earlier uh, above the time frame and entered with a daily basis daily time frame where i can see this morning star and i uh, <clears throat> entered with the this to reward of one is to two in our four i can see that the market which is trending right now is the zone so from this zone market can go up let me draw the zone for you from this zone the market can uh, play and go up or go down yep this is the zone and i am not sure if i should stay or if i should leave the market oh, but seeing in our day trade this an uptrend in week it is uh, also a ranging market and at the 21 ema it is trying to go up so weekly is also saying uptrend daily is also saying uptrend we took the trade at daily and if i say month see monthly in monthly so our um, basis of uh, entry is daily in our one i can't see any top support in our four i can see it's a ranging area and the next level of resistance is this level in our four the major resistance level basically not so I can see like this is also resistance level, but not that much effective. But this one is more effective, like uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and this is also the same. My one to this reward is approx. One ninety two to one hundred six. Yeah, one is to two approx. Not exact one. Nothing is exact in the market. So my point is, if I should, uh, should I move my stop loss at uh, no profit, no loss? Yeah, so let's move. And we'll see the market to will follow the our pattern. We will have to just see if the market reverses here and come back to test or hit our stop loss. GBCAD, same thing. No new trade was. Oh, it was day before yesterday. Uh, uh, it's hitting my heart right now. I'm having a full of pain things with double bottom, a bit bottom to is I entered it there in weekly. It's so promised uh, uptrend, so a resistance, and uh, with the candle, it shows the uptrend on the hourly. I couldn't find any trade. hour four it was in the season you can see this one this is the friday so <clears throat> last friday yeah one thing disclaimer very very big disclaimer all my mentor there is no specific mentor for me it all you too and uh, so i mean what i gained i am trying to give back to the youtube only and someone who is out there who is struggling like me i want that me to be helped from this video and do something with life so all my mentors they all mention that friday friday is the worst day of the trading because the money they earned all week is always wiped out on the friday so most of my mentor i know don't like to trade on friday and other mentor which I know 
or which I heard. The mentor means not like I followed their video by Thai heart. It's like I've seen their source or while moving up the hills, I saw their face only once or even twice, but their thought hit me. So they don't like to trade on daily basis. Even we have five days market. They like to trade only three days. So they are like, I will trade on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I will not touch Monday and Friday. Because Monday, there's a new decision market coming in Friday. The whole decision can be reversed. And some like to trade Monday, then skip Tuesday and trade Wednesday or Thursday. But the more trade I know, no one likes to enter a new trade on Friday. No one likes to enter a new trade on Friday because market is closing. People have their emotion. Things are going <clears throat> on over the week. People might have good gain, good loss. The people who might, who might have good gain may come to over confidence. People who might have losses may try to recover their loss on the last trade. And there's so much emotions playing on. So it's a advice which I received is do not trade on Friday. But our trade is not emotional. Our trade is rule-based trade. Our trade is rule-based trade. So my first priority will be not to enter trade, but if I find something good, which is as per my rule, I will take the trade. So GPCAD, I'm on its loss area and uh, uh, it's coming back to the zone from where it started and I'm expecting to go back to the top and hit this next support resistance area, but nobody knows. Market, market is unpredictable, unpredictable and we can only trade in probability. GP, JPY. <coughs> <coughs> Weekly sold to this hammer. This from this level, it is my time to go up. And I can't rely on this weekly. Coming to daily, this is forming our top to is a miss reversal in JB, GBB CAD also. In daily, I can see a top to is a or bullish. Very single thing. I see you can see the very single thing here. But this very single thing is there GBA CAD and GB JPY. And I don't know how to react to this one. In our one, it is below it came back to my zone area. It came back to my last zone area approx. So if it comes back and take one more sell from here, I will stop my trade. Sorry, I look for down trade. If it comes to 50 EMA, why will I look for 10 down trade? Yeah, good question. So, my first one the market is going down, 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 it's going down in day time frame. It's a down trend market. Oh my God. In GP, AUD also in date, it's a good downtrend market only. <laughs> GP, JPY in date is our downtrend market. Weekly, we have no things to see. In hour four, it's again, is an uptrend market. In hour one, if I see in a long range, if I exclude this Friday trade, I can see it is going uptrend and this uptrend has broke. This range has broke here. I'm moving this range now. I'm moving this range to this level, this, this one and this one. I can say it is in a range right now. And uh, because this one, can be said as range. I may be taking too much time, but it's giving me a little headache to think so much things. <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> so it comes back and uh, it breaks and retest and uh, moving average comes to that level also this level also while it retest then i will look for downtrend and at that moment only i will remove uh, come out with gmcad jp and jd we have taken a trade on daily basis no new trade was found yesterday so we continued the daily basis trade and uh, we are having a risk to reward ratio of one is to one uh, one is to two at the most uh, support resistance level and if still it is at a new resistance level so at hourly four hourly time hour time frame it is at a resistance level from here it can fall down and hit my stop loss or come down little and again go up if it come down a little and go up then i will may enter one more uh take one more position in some it's a small lot of five lot coming to gp usd the market is turning in gp the market was going up 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 now it has shown a big downfall in our daily time frame is shown a big very scandal weekly it is a downtrend taking resistance at uh, some area hour 4 hour 1 we saw a very big bullish movement yesterday <clears throat> after this big bullish movement it will be i think ranging market or choppy market for 2 3 days but today it will be a choppy ranging market because this bullish movement has come people will be very excited seeing the hour for a daily movement and they will try to enter here and it will be ranging and the people with small stop loss will be hitting very hard gp chf i want to delete all the uh, indicator here give me a moment okay so gp chf is blank right now looking at weekly chart it is in a range it is in a range daily chart in a range you can see it is taking a big support here in our four let's draw a uh, uh, insert safe left angle it is taking a big support at this level in day i can see oh it's this going way back it's going way back from here the market try to come down come down come down buyer is holding at this position very 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 uh, strictly very firm buyer has very firm holding at this level this level give us chf our one and now it is trying to break so if it breaks this level then i will enter a sell trade you should break and take a as uh, what we say retest retest little and enter go, go down then our will be a target and next target can be this one so this is in a range and i want to want to do anything in our one actually i don't see a proper range here this is a range but this is so much uh, pollution here if the range was a little clear between small uh, entry candle here then slowly moving down then good entry candle here then slowly moving uh, good entry candles moving down then i would have think of taking a trade here i can see this bullish candle engulfing candle but i cannot see the proper range so i will refrain myself from trading here coming to euro jb was a lot of time consuming in jb we spent on 15 17 minutes okay now euro aud we have something to see here so it was in a range going up and down now it broke the range weekly it shows the uptrend daily 
hourly so it broke my range i study i pre pretended one more range here saying that uh wait let me see my here yep. uh euro aud wait you ready okay i said buy at 50 ema so it was like if it breaks the zone and it comes back and retest so which it did here uh, i think uh 4 35 36 37 38 30 approx my time after five hours one two three four five after five hours of opening the market it took a support at 50 and so the bullish engulfing pattern so this was my entry point with this uh, stop loss below this black candle and uh, oof, oof. i returned down but i didn't took the trade and it's a big movement today so i'm expecting again the ranging zone and i'm not doing anything if i've taken a trade yesterday i would have stayed it here yeah again it also showed a daily promising entry point but oof, so much daily daily trade i don't want to take daily trade in daily trade i don't have investment capital. I, kept, I have capital of only hundred dollar which i started with so if i trade a daily time frame i need capital of at least at least 500 dollars but yesterday seeing a good risk to a good probability and i entered a risk to reward ratio but i don't want to enter again in day trade yeah i can reduce my lot of from 10 to 5 dollar total but if i reduce my lot there is a psychology that i am using investing small amount i can take a little more risk but if i'm putting a lot side of 10 50 it's like i'm investing my huge amount and it's some burden on my mind to not to be careless and not to take any foolish trade so I, i'm not i'm not trying to reduce my lot size and this is still a dummy account and i'm practicing on that only so on weekly time frame it is taking support from uh it is taking support and going up in daily it's now an uptrend we can see it, the inside candle here three days back in hour four i had made some this uh, pattern why did i make this pattern i don't know let me remove this one and this one was coming from way back okay this one is support area which was important i think earlier but now it's not important anymore do i see any i see one range area actually insert i don't see triangle pattern or over i mean i've never used ellipse pattern actually i'm new at learning the this triangle pattern basically this is a range where the market is playing so market was going up in a very good last friday market had a bad news to war and all news and then the market is raising the same area so i don't know your gp do i need to keep this triangle weekly it is a downtrend oh in daily it showed a support at 50 ema in daily it is a okay in weekly it is a down oh, in weekly i can't see trend in monthly in monthly it's something like in a range now the market is trying to go up in month weekly sold one down daily yesterday sold one engulfing hour four hour one pollution this is diversion actually so i think i'm making one mistake in analysis but it is also about learning so here the diversion here is the same area approx now what i can see here i can see something like this 
so it was very hard for them to break this range earlier so they came down coming up going down coming up going down then it broke if you take the support at this level and with the 50 em support i will enter the trade here is ep let me write it down So I've written Euro GDP. It's come back and take the support at this uh, support level and at 50 EMA, I will look for intraday with the good candlestick. If I get the good candlestick, which means if this all my rules are satisfied. Now yesterday, uh, now coming back to next Euro NJD. Yesterday I mentioned Euro NJD. You can see Euro NJD. Yeah, find the good entry point to buy. As I already told you, yesterday was a continuing trade. No new signal was coming. So even though it was all continuing trade, you can see if on daily time frame it was continuing. So I even though I've taken two entry good point three on a basis, but for this hourly, I said that I will take the trade of buy if it comes at 21 or 50 EMA and take a hit for top. But it didn't happen yesterday. So, oof. so now it is now came to this range. Now it is at this range now. So I'm predicting that market will play today in the ranging zone. All the people who uh, are going to enter today are going to lose their money because market will cho either choppy or and uh, so i will not take this trade today but on monday again i will look for looking at weekly and daily uh, time frame on monday i will be looking for one retracement here and again going back up on monday not today obviously so the market will range and come down and people who will enter today may take a loss or market will do one more thing let me make one sip i think if, if it is visible to you or not but i know one thing because you can see it is overbought you can see here what this overbought when overbought stays but yeah this one so what can happen that market will come down here it will make double <laughs> bottom in uh continuing range after playing some here going up today and playing coming down at by the end of london session maybe and by the time 50 or 21 moving average will come here and at that point of time we can think yeah the market is again pushing with the same support so this is double bottom in the so double bottom was two ways not double bottom every candlestick works in two ways either it shows that market is going to reverse or it shows the market is going to continue so yesterday this gpcad it shows me market is going to continue which is now negative this also shows this two shows me showed me that market is going to reverse so it is reversing so it can come down and make and also the uh, market structure double bottom double top triangle and all it also also shows that market is going to reverse or is or is going to continue these all things are happening right now. So I am not expecting too much for this one, but I will keep an eye on this one because I have re, uh, listened somewhere from some mentor on YouTube that this happens most of the time. And uh, even if you're uh, going in an uptrend or downtrend, it comes a retracement and it is making double bottom in the same year. Uh, not in the reversal form in the continuous form you can take the trade at that level also euro usd i mentioned euro usd also yeah find the good entry point to buy literally anyway i didn't took the trade yesterday and even if i open the market i didn't open the market in the morning i want to feel a, a relaxing type of guy because I take stress too much. My real boss, I have a full-time employee, everybody knows. Uh, everybody is doing something for their life living. So my boss says that, us is if you stress, you your quality of work is always decreased. So 
we have good relationship. I have a very good relationship with my boss. And uh, like big brother. And I'm a manager. So I get project time to time, new project, pilot project. Even though I'm good, I make mistakes when I am in stress. So my boss told me, as this is your quality, always take this when you are in stress. So I don't try to open the chart in the morning in a day time frame to look how the market is moving because it will somehow affect my psychology. So yesterday I couldn't find any good entry point here, but it shows a very big uh, reversal. And uh, so market has changed, I think. Let me see the daily time frame. Yep, in day time frame, it made doji in this candle, then it made big hammer. Weekly, yeah, it had, oh, 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 hour four. Whoa. Yeah, I was expecting that good candle to form here it can go down but it broke and came down so now I can't see any trade here it's in a range something like that and uh, anything can happen euro jpy coming to euro jpy did I mention any notes for euro jpy yesterday new I didn't see anything I was blind yesterday for your GPY. Oh, you, you, in a range. Oh, you, you, in a range. Oh, you, you, in a range. Oh, you, you. Ooh. It's in a range. My God. Yeah, I didn't open it in the morning. In afternoon, so afternoon. So if I take open it in afternoon, at hour four, I've seen this double tweezer. Wow. Top tweezer, and with this top tweezer in a range, I have taken a sell trade and I would book the profit at this level. And we had a winner, we could have a winner, but today, no, 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 no. So we didn't see, uh, so we didn't took the profit benefit of this level. So it was, was today's to reward ratio. I also have to analyze my current risk to reward ratio is two is to one, so control plus, right. Yeah, so I want to see if risk to reward ratio would be have been valid here. It was like $2, 284 pips. And uh, da, 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 400, yeah, my risk to reward ratio has been satisfied. People make, when people do top bottom analysis, let me be very frank, they make the risk loss of 1 to 5 also. And I know some of the mentor who does that but we are small players we are learning so we have to stick to one is to two right now in a long run we will have a profit and who knows someday maybe we would have been maybe we could we would we could we should something like that so in our one so talking about the ranging the ranging market simply comes within from this range to this range so market will try to come to below this area so at our one if it takes the support at this level let me make one more small rectangle i think you will be bored by seeing all my this chart okay i'm taking too much time so if it comes back to this level this is small is available and continuing it should be continuing top and good candlestick to enter and support at 50 EMA. Then again, I will do make the uh, ratio profit of one is two ratio. But let me use JPY. Yeah, I am trying to reduce the time, recording time. So I am trying to reduce the uh, uh, my video time but i'm not sure how can i do because oh, there's so much things to say from next time i will try to speak as calmness but 
sorry for this long video so in weekly bit bearish engulfing market took the support and coming down daily time frame obviously weekly it is going down hourly uh, it's so much pollution i can't see anything coming to usd yeah usd is three pairs only so it will be very quick to analysis oh, usd jpy did i mention it out for usd jpy yesterday no i didn't so usd jpy what happened yesterday i made a ranging market and uh, i think i didn't think yesterday how is possible no it could not be possible usd jpy usd jpy there is no such thing i am not printing for yesterday okay but as per my chart i can see here it was in a range you can see it was in a range from here and it was in a range from here and yesterday what it did it tried to break this range here so when it baked the range here it came back i think i have taken such trade yesterday also yeah i had taken the in euro no yeah i had taken this trade yeah sorry my mistake i had taken this trade and uh, it was a loss so you can see here i took the trade here but it hit the stop loss with this candle but at the same time you know uh, in past two three candle uh, pattern i said that if it makes double bottom in the continuing zone you can see double bottom one two in the continuing zone it means that we can enter trade also so here you can see my theory one bottom two bottom in continuing zone so even if i have not taken trade at this one morning i would have taken the trade at this level and we have taken book the profit of this one not that much but my profit would have been at this level this 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 support is this level one times had registered second time support third time support so it would have been the yeah you can see this black resistance candle i would take a trade at this level now it is again back to zone so my stop loss was hit yesterday okay good thing market analysis and everything now usd cad usd yeah i mentioned to take a sell trade yesterday okay now yeah if i had taken this sell it would have been a stop loss no issue i would have taken this after this this is the no the hammer candle which candle is it either the hammer candle no this is not a hammer candle inside bar is a mother candle no it is not a mother candle i would it would i have taken this trade if i have seen this candle is not a validating candle in day trade uh -huh. <coughs> is little confusing to me in day trade day time frame what is this what is this pattern i need to put it somewhere to understand what is this so basically this was i was trading the range and what happened like in day trade i can see so it, this this triangle is for uh week and in day trade i see double top tweezer top top tweezer and market was coming down and i didn't took this trade actually but when i came to our our four i predicted that market will go around some this level it will uh uh it will uh it will it will it will uh, respect the triangle and i thought if the market goes down i will go take a trade but this is not a proper candle for me to take the trade okay usd chf us the chf was all sell all sell if it breaks the zone and take support at 50 ema which didn't happen actually so which didn't happen okay. 
will consider it only as USD CHF and AUD CHF. Let me see one AUD CHF and JD CHF. Where is yeah? Yeah, it broke the zone, but it didn't took the support. It's not always that after breaking a zone, it will come back and retest the zone. It's not always the case. And it was same for it was same for NJDCHF. Okay, this market. Every CHF also I said that I will take this sale if it uh okay so uh -huh. I said that I will take the trade if it uh, Oh my god, so hard to predict right now what I said yesterday. The analysis which I done yesterday was clear now today is a headache. Sell 50 EMA. Sell at 50 EMA. So it if it went up, I should have sold at 50 EMA. Resistance at 50 EMA, which means I have to take resistance at 50 EMA, but there is no proper candle formation. And take profit at the range <clears throat> so i am saying something like i don't know what i am saying ha <laughs> ha <clears throat> sorry i am not able to connect with my study analysis USD CHF, nothing to do right now. I don't want to. It's after a big moment. I don't want to enter trade. And JD. So yesterday, all all inti was big movement. Everything was a big movement. Big movement. Big movement. Week daily. Oh my God. Hourly four. Hour one at hour four, it was double top. Hour one, it was diversion, and NJD JPY being a diversion, I wanted to take a trade. I wanted for waited for NJD JPY. Did I write anything here? NJD JPY sell trend reversal signal at one hour. So I wanted to look for a good entry point and my good entry point would have been either this candle bullish engulfing or this bullish engulfing. But our four, I'm not seeing a proper entry exit point here. I've written it analysis. It was a big moment to my area. Oh my god, what happened here, bro? This is NJD USD, NJD USD. I didn't read any trade. Oh, yesterday was a big moment. Yesterday it was a big moment, and no entry point for yesterday. It was like all the trade was for the continuance of our four or in continuance of daily trade. So yesterday I just said there's no new entry point. It was the continuing trade. So we moved to the higher time frame and took the trade. And today it moved up so much heavy that market will either be in resistance or it will it, today it, if anybody tries to enter market. I'm not talking about a professional trader. I am talking about the rookie or me. I'm talking about myself. Today if I feel like if I try to move, in the market, I will be slammed to the ground and uh, would, I will get a hit, a very hard hit. So today I am staying away.
it's a very big movement euro chf it broke the zone even though if i'm not taking a trade at this because i'm not getting any uh, 50 21 to my support stress but after this black candle this black candle which is purely breaking the zone i would have entered here see in hour four this one is from 10 11 12 13 day before I study it is taking the same trade like here and if i go to daily this one this continuing trade some range big bullish candle okay this is a new thing for me uh, reversal it was going up some resistance and coming range good bullish single very single pink candle and then again the continuing trend so it was a nice thing for me to see nothing here i'm not going to invest my mind and uh, no i don't want to do anything right now hmm. now i am seeing one thing for good the cold didn't predict as all other candles so in a weekly daily what happened here okay sorry in a weekly it took a support and trying to go up from the support area daily it went up now it is at a 21 ema and uh, formed a hammer hourly four hourly one so in day trade, day time frame, I can see it made a hammer, clear sales signal. In hour four, it now made a more trying to make a morning star here. Hour one, I will look for sales signal in hour one. Yo, you have to write me, let me write it down. Oh, shit. May all the note I didn't save or what? I was writing something. No? Hey, hey, it is saved here. My mistake. I got scared. This, this so much. Okay, so much development in this. Uh, what is this? This is 13, so you are working on. Hey, hey. So this one is what? Uh, one second, sorry. So coming back, uh, what I'm saying that, I'm saying that, uh, yeah, I'm saying that. Uh, so in gold, I'm looking, I will be looking for sell signals, seeing the day time frame, then the, seeing that this, uh, this weekly to try to support, but in our time frame it will may try to come down at this level then again it try to go up so this market it can be it can be predictable in any way i don't care so as you can see my profit is decreasing now so today it was changing zone cad jpy <laughs> ah weekly daily hour four i'm tired now i'm just closing the pattern i'm just Reviewing it for mental satisfaction, nothing else. I need uh -huh. so I made one range. If it breaks below the range and come back and test the area, I will take the trade. It was like that. Okay. So yep, it broke the range. Let's go to hourly time frame. It made one hammer. It made one hammer. No, it's a doji candle. Two doji candle is there. Should I take the trade? My second question is it broke the range, forming a doji candle. Weekly time frame is going down. No, it's a downtrend. Daily time frame, it is taking support at uh, 50 MA. So the chance it may reverse. In our time frame, it broke the zone. But I am not finding any proper candlestick to enter. Hourly time frame. I think I should take the trade here. Should I take a risk? Asis. I am having a very 
so all my dad and his husband oh, are gone now right at this point because it's so dog 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 in my heart should i take the trade or not should i take the trade or not should i take the trade or not should i should i not should i should i not should i should i not you can see here at uh, 21 ema also stride made a morning start to go up hour one so at hour one i want to see the buy signal series chf C A D C H F one to C B by signal at one hour and yeah my notes which I make today sometimes will make sense tomorrow to Inter, inter, trend of the with fifty. Mm. So what I'm saying, I'm saying here, find buy signal at one hour to enter the trend. Of day time frame, yeah, the trend of day time frame with 50 EMA support, and this is also support here. You can see the support, something support here. I can see. I don't want to enter right now. I will for only this one, but only this, maybe this one. I will come back, come back, and enter. For this one only, I may come back today, otherwise. I don't come back to day trade in morning, even if the market goes at my prediction. I can see diversion here. Yeah, sort. It is hitting me hard right now. Hitting me very hard. I can see diversion here. I can see diversion here. And I can see insert shape. So it is a false breakout. It is a false breakout. They want people to enter here so that they can wipe out their capital. Oh my God. They are playing with public emotion. I can see diversion here. It's break outside the breakout of the zone. People might think, okay, now it's time to enter trade to go long, no sort, but that's not the case. If I, I let me remove this zone for time, no, I'm let keep it this zone. Insert, shape, rectangle. This is a second support area. You can see here. So market came up, tested and gone up came down tested so let me remove this zone now so if it exists outside this zone i don't care about the candle anything now no candle no candlestick if it just break out the zone i will take the buy trade let me add one more thing Okay, now last page, CHF JPY. Daily time frame, weekly time frame, oh, head duck. Daily, uh, try to form a head. CHF JPY, okay, so let, I'm seeing here, what I'm seeing, I'm seeing nothing here. I'm seeing nothing here. 
with the big diversion here if a diversion here which diversion means the double top at uh, 15 time frame yesterday at london session it made a double top at 15 minutes and it took this sale so in 30 minutes it is an uptrend in hour one it is an uptrend but it crossed below the 50 ma so i don't know if it's going to go up or going down. day time frame it is coming down so sorry no trade for me here i want to trade london session also but i am not mentally prepared for that so one thing about me until i am mentally prepared i don't do anything even if i have to cook food in mind i do all these steps what i need how i prepare i will prepare everything once i'm done with in my mind that i start working same with my work professional work my day to day job if i get any task i don't start doing at same point for example i got one in urgent task day for yesterday and i didn't start it yesterday till time and and i handle with my client basically not my boss and uh, my client knows that task which is given to me i complete that but i take my time i first analyze what mistake can i make in that task and how would i how can i do this task i basically find try to find two three alternatives of doing the task which will ease my work because in past i have seen that i started immediately and i had to suffer a lot because i could i had find after some time that it could have done in easy way it would have saved the time it would have uh, more funnier for me to do than taking so much stress so i forgot what i was saying that so if it does not i don't know i forgot sorry forgot so yeah so i want to trade the what i will trade i want to trade the london session and for trading the london session my time frame will be 15 minutes which is good and uh, i want to trade london session the time frame will be 15 minutes but i'm having that thought for time being i will sleep over that thought for one week then maybe i will look into it i want to see gp aud think about the thought of trading london session gp aud gp aud yeah this is gp aud so london session the main movement so not london my mistake new york session i said my mistake sorry new york new new york new york new york new york session this is the last breath of the exercise and we must endure it even if we are having some pain okay this is a london session the time moved new york session is continued so london session after second half it all started changing gbp london session london tokyo london session it was a changing area in london session yesterday okay gp and jd 15 minutes uh, nothing here nothing to see here nothing to see here Whew. so guys that's all for today i am not taking any trade i have written some notes for 10 13 let me hide this 10 to well uh, we don't need. yeah i want to understand my market let's come back there's always something missing in the last and jdcad so actually and jdcad what i wanted to understand like a four hour day weekly shows up trend okay weekly is a downtrend i don't know how it's a doctrine day one is a downtrend again i don't know why i'm saying uptrend hour four yeah hour four is a uptrend so basically weekly downtrend daily downtrend there is also downtrend hour four is a uptrend and what i'm saying 
वन आवर सोज रेजिस्टेंस टू फॉल ए माई प्रिडिक्शन वॉज रॉन्ग ये स्टडी वन आवर सोज रेजिस्टेंस टू फॉल सो इट्स अ डाउन ट्रेंड डाउन ट्रेंड डे वन ओ माई गॉड आवर फॉर आवर वन जो कैन आई सी आई डोंट सी एनी डाइवर्जन हेयर एक्चुअली आई डेंट सी डाइवर्जन इफ आई सी द डाइवर्जन हेयर like it was going up but the market so the market was going up but the rsi was going down i didn't find any diversion here so since i didn't find any diversion i didn't enter the trade yesterday but it would have been advised not advised no no advice sorry so no advice sorry no advice sorry i can't see anything here let me delete this one this diagram did it this this is not a proper support little bit the market went a little anxiety usd eh anxiety cpy is i don't know <coughs> i think i need to read one more thing <coughs> i don't know what it was no so this one is important the rest all are not that much for me so this one bowling bound concept where the market has moved too far it will try to come back i i will be covering that in my uh, audio book today or tomorrow thanks guys and always have black coffee it will keep your mind sharp and as i told you do the working in your mind then before doing the working on paper bye